Working example number two, calculate the surface area of a right triangular prism. So we've got a triangular prism here, nine meter depth, uh, three meter base, 2.6 meter height. And we've got a net here that shows this particular triangle. So we know that these dimensions here are nine meters. Well, on the net, that is these four edges here. You'll notice I drew three orange lines on the 3D image, but I've got four here. That's because this bottom one and the top one are actually the same edge. Once this is folded up, those edges will be touching. So there's that dimension. Now, we also know that we've got a three meter base on here, which is shown here and here. And then we've got the two diagonals of the triangle, which we don't actually have labeled. But then we've got these sides of these top panels as well. Now when this gets folded together, this blue line connects up with that blue line. This one connects up here, so that one and this one connect, and then that one and that one connect up. So uh, that's sort of how it goes together and what the different lengths are. Now, in this particular solution, uh, we're now being asked to do the surface area. So the bases of the prism are equilateral triangles. Oh, that's new information. That means that all three sides of these triangles are the same. And if all three are the same, and we're told that this one is three meters, then that means these blue ones are also three meters. So in actual fact, the blue and the pink are all three meters, and then we've got the orange that's nine meters. Equilateral triangles, all three sides have the same length. So, in that case, we have three rectangles, and they're all nine long, and we said pink and blue were the same. So that's three, that's three, and that's three. So we have three of these rectangles that are exactly the same. So we've got that length there, and this length here. So in actual fact, the area of this rectangle, length times width, is 9 times 3, and 9 times 3 is 27 meters squared. Now for the triangles, we've got two different triangles that are exactly the same, one on each end of the prism. 3 meters by 3 meters by 3 meters, and the height is 2.6 meters. So, area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. The base, we're told, is 3. The height is not 3. The height is perpendicular to the base. So it's this imaginary line that's 90 degrees to the base that goes all the way to the tip. So that's the 2.6 meters. Just make sure we're using the correct number for the height on this triangle. So 3 times 2.6 gives us 7.8. And then we're going to divide that by 2 to give us 3.9 meters squared. And that is for one triangle. 27 meters squared is for one rectangle. So let's look at our net and try and figure out what we have to put together. So the rectangles, 9 by 3, are all 27 meters squared. So that top one is 27 meters squared, so is the middle one, and so is the bottom one. The triangles are both 3.9 meters squared. So we've got two triangles and three rectangles. So we can take 3 times 27, and that is um, 81 meters squared. And 2 times 3.9 is 7.8 meters squared. When you add that up, you get 88.8 .8 meters squared. 
So the surface area of this right triangular prism is 88.8 .8 meters squared. Next up is another show you know. Give it a go.